Hello guys. Hello guys. My name is Israel. And this is a mommy. You're welcome to Just Wait. Welcome. Today we'll be talking about a very important topic and it is God's purpose for cutting relationships. God is very intentional and deliberate about our cutting relationships. And today we'll be looking at some of the purpose, some of God's purpose for your cutting relationship. Absolutely. And um, we would like to say that there's a general purpose for all cutting relationships. And we understand also that there's a specific purpose for cutting relationships. And I'll first like to talk about the general purpose, which we can take from Genesis 1 verse 27, where God instructs man to be fruitful, to multiply, to replenish the earth. So we believe that your cutting relationship should be fruitful. It should multiply and it should replenish the earth. So you can tell if your cutting relationship is on the right track, if you guys are increasing, if you are getting better, if you are influencing other people um, positively as well. And um, for the specific purpose, I think you can take that. Yeah, so I believe that, or we believe that, God has specific um, assignments. <coughs> God has specific assignments for our relationships, our cutting relationships. And it is very important that we understand these assignments and we pursue. Um, your assignments could be with reaching out to motherless um, children, reaching out to the poor and to the needy. You know, um, God has God has you know made you meet your other partner for you to synergize. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter four verse nine that two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. So we believe that one of God's purpose is for you to synergize and work together with your other party or your other your partner to achieving God's specific assignment for your relationship. And we also believe that another purpose for your cutting relationship is for you to model God's relationship, you and for you to model your relationship with God. Now we have come to understand that God will love you to relate with your partner just like you would relate with him if he was here in a human form. And you know it's just an opportunity for you to practice things you practice with God, to practice mm. empathy, to practice love, to practice, you know, care, genuine care. And, um, you know, God would be so happy that, you know, your courtship season is utilized. Absolutely. Utilized for its purpose. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah, I also want to mention that um, the purpose of being in a relationship with a person should also be to help them, to lift them up when they are down. And I think it's almost the same as the Bible verse that you got here, that two are better than one. So you have someone that you can... Sorry about the background noise. <laughs> you have someone that you can express how you feel per time, you can talk to, you can have fun with the right way. Just do stuff together. And I think that's another purpose for the cutting relationship. Then also, I think this is very important. The main purpose, if you're going to be in a cutting relationship with anybody like you want to start dating a person cutting a person the end goal should be marriage i don't think it is right that we do not agree to get married to each other but then we are seeing ourselves we are cutting we are having exclusive conversations i think it's a it's a way to waste your time and the other person's time so if the end goal is not to get married i don't think you should be in a relationship with that person to help your own sanity and save you from numerous heartbreaks yeah and um i think those are the basic points we'd like to share for now and um, we'll also like to share the benefits of understanding god's purpose or god's intention for cutting relationships yeah so one very popular one very popular case or one very popular example is the example of mary and joseph in the bible we we understand that mary and joseph had independently listened to the voice of the Lord and understood the assignment God had for them, the specific the assi assignment. specific assignment God had for them, and they were obedient enough to follow. If not for the obedience of Mary and Joseph, they, we won't have, you know, we won't have gotten Jesus Christ from that maybe, <laughs> genealogy. Maybe, not. maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yes. So <clears throat> the foundation of, you know, what we're just saying is this: it is very important that you. Uh, sensitive, um, you and your partner are sens sensitive to the voice of God to understand Absolutely. your specific assignments for um, your cutting relationship. 
Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And um, there are numerous examples, numerous examples from the Bible. We have the story of <coughs> Zacharias and Elizabeth, the story of when Abraham's servant was going to get Isaac a wife, and also the story of Ruth, Esther, so many people like that, people who could hear God independently and when they got into relationship with people they had like massive impacts in their marriage or in their relationship with people around yeah so we believe that um you've gotten to learn a few things and if you have more things that you can share with us please do well to drop your comments send us questions if you have and also please send us comments on how you think we can get better and we'll be very glad to implement your comments we will yeah <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for joining you. in. And Bye. See you. see you in the next Thank video. You. Bye. Bye. <laughs>